What's up, Juventini Alberto here. I got all your Juventus news. All right, Illing Jr. apparently to be sold in the Winter Mercado to fund another move in the midfield. But could Juve go a completely different direction as we have another new name for the target list? And honestly, it makes a little bit more sense to me. And I'm going to throw out my theory for all of you and we'll see what you think about it. All right. Now, furthermore, Medetti leaves the U21s today, but we'll tackle his status as well as obviously all eyes on Manuel Lovecourt and what we could see against Inter, but I'm going to give you what I would do, and I want to know what you would do in the middle of the park, potentially in that game. And then we've got a new Pro Live SBC coming out for all you EAFC 24 players, all right? So all that and more right now. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. This is the AJC. Let's rock. First things first, Tuto Sport coming out today saying that Tottenham is ready to make an offer for Illing Jr., all right? So Juve has him valued at 18 to 20 million euros and apparently Tottenham is set to come in at 20 million euros for the player. Juve is being reported to then in turn want to take that money and go after Rodrigo De Paul to bring him in in the winter mercado. Now I've always not really fully believed the Rodrigo De Paul uh, rumors or links that this could actually be happening in the winter mercado and there are many sources right now stating that Atletico has no intentions of letting DePaul go in the winter mercado so it's just something we will have to follow but what's interesting is what I've said probably about a month ago that I could see something a little more realistic being Juve bringing in a midfielder and an advanced midfielder slash attacker right and now you've got a new name for the target list this came out a couple days ago but we were waiting for more sources to kind of pick this up because you don't know if there's enough weight to it or whatnot but more sources are jumping on the name of edward spertian okay in the russian league for krasnodor he is positionally versatile okay can play both wings can play in behind your forwards and whatnot and he is available for potentially 15 million euros he's highly highly touted as well the 23 year old armenian now another name still in the mix is sudakov now i always said that that seemed more realistic to me is i could see uv pulling a move for someone like Samardzic and still being able to bring in a more advanced attacking option like sudakov now spertian these ones make more sense, and that's actually what I expect to happen. Now, as far as your formation change and everything, I think there may be a tweak. And I think Max wants, obviously, help in the midfield because of what happened with Pogba, Fajoli. But I think the key for him is finding that player to play behind the forwards, all right? And that's why I would not be surprised if you see Sudakov or Spertian next to a midfielder come in in the winter mercado and then we can get some loans out with some other players all right so i think that's more the route we are going to go as far as that change goes maybe going three four one two two pivots one advanced midfielder this is what i've wanted for quite some time i would do it against inter but what we're expected to see as we've got some issues all right Locatelli. All eyes are on Manuel Locatelli if he can get fit and get back into the lineup. But Hans Nicolusi Cavilla could be set to start next to Rabio and McKenney, according to early reports. All right. Well, for me, I would keep McKenney as your right wing back because he's excelling there. If Miretti can go, as today reports suggest, he has left the U21s with lower back pain. All right. However, it's not believed to be anything serious. He did manage to play through the game against Kadri. He's going back to recover. He should be fine for the intermatch against November 26th. But even if he can't go, I would still do this. And that's use Hans Nicolusi Caviglia and Rabio as your two pivots. McKinney is your right wing back. And then I would play one of Medetti or Yildiz in behind the forwards against Inter. That's what I would do, all right? But I want to hear from you. Would you do that? We might have to juggle a little bit, but I would fully expect uh, Nicolusi Cavilla to play in the middle next to McKenney and Rabio because Max is going to want that protection with those two robust guys on either side of Nicolusi Cavilla, but it's not something I would do. At least Inter also has injuries to deal with as Bastoni has picked up an injury and he is highly in doubt for that matchup, okay? But when we look at the two squads and whatnot, they've got some injuries as well. 
but they're covered a lot more than Juventus. This Locatelli one really, really hurts us, okay? So it's going to be very interesting to see what Juventus will do. As far as other injuries, Keane, we heard about a issue he was dealing with yesterday. He returned to training in full with the Azzurri today, so he is absolutely fine. That's good news for us. Gatti and Chiesa are set to start tomorrow for Italy. All right, and uh, that's essentially it. We can just hope for no injuries. Vlaovic... His contract extension, according to Romeo Gresti, could be wrapped up within the first week of December, all right? But hey, that wraps up your news break. Last little nugget for all you EAFC 24 players. Manuel Locatelli, while we wait for him to return from injury, is going to be getting a Pro Live SBC card, all right? So what's different for these, if you're not sure, usually you get the Live SBC cards and it's matched up to that player's performance. And if they win that matchup, you know, their attributes will grow. This is different because this is a professional EAFC 24 player that's chosen Manuel Locatelli to receive an SBC card and upgrades will be linked to that actual gamer's performances. So let's see what happens, all right? But that's set to go live potentially tomorrow, all right? So that wraps up everything. You guys know the drill. Let's mix it up. But don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all tomorrow. As always, fino alla fine, forza Juve, ciao a tutti.